Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining me today for our morning devotion. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Uh, we got quite a bit of snow yesterday, um, somewhere around 13 inches. I didn't hear how much we got in the night. Um, we we're supposed to get another two or three or maybe even four um, in the night. So there's a lot of snow out there. See the smile? I'm so happy. I love it when it snows. Ah, the cat shaming photo of the day is I stole a half-eaten roast chunk off the bench and ate it all. I only left the stuffing. Not a kitty. Not a kitty. I could see Lucy doing that, except that she can't jump that high anymore. We broke her from jumping on the, uh, the counter when she was quite young uh, by leaving duct tape out. And, and then she's, she's a Maine Coon, so she's got a lot of hair between her toes. And so we always knew when she'd been on the counter because we'd have to rescue her from the duct tape and cut it off her feet. I know it sounds mean, but it broke her. She doesn't do that anymore. <coughs> the uh, devotion today is called Fancy Footwork, and it's by uh, Patsy Claremont. The... Uh, the verse of the day is, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And it's Acts 3, 6. And she writes, I hate being stuck, don't you? Like in traffic jams, where by the time the traffic clears, you have become the executor of the estate of your newfound friends in the car next to you. Or stuck in the checkout lane because the item isn't marked and the teller has to wire Taiwan for a price check. <coughs> How about the times you get stuck in a conversation? <coughs> Goodness, <I'm sleepy. coughs> How about the times you get stuck in a conversation with salespeople, an angry boss, or someone who is just a hopeless prattler? And if that's not bad enough, have you ever been super glued to something? Now, honey, that's stuck. My friend, come turn off this heater. <coughs> My friend, in an attempt to do a fast repair on her earring, super glued her finger to her earlobe. Hmm. <coughs> Life is full of stuck possibilities. In fact, when you think about it, we are kind of stuck here on planet Earth until further notice. Or, as my hymnal puts it, till the roll is called up yonder. Makes me think we better make the best out of stuck, lest life turn into one big rut. I hate ruts. They're so, so rut-like. Ruts are common, unimaginative, and oh, so boring. I know because I've spent time in them. Actually, I took up emotional residence to a couple. To make them comfortable, I planned on staying. I even decorated them. I adorned the walls with excuses. I can't, I tried, and I don't want to. Those are just a few of the the plagues, I mean plaques, I hung in my ruts. Instead of welcome, my doormat stated, enter at your own risk. You see, rut dwellers tend to be irksome and dreary. Besides, ruts are personal, and normally it's only one to a rut. The rutty, if crowded, could growl, and like a sleeping dog, it is bet to let, best to let the person lie. I can usually spot a rut dweller from 20 paces. It takes one to know one. They lack luster, imagination, energy, and interest. They tend to slurp, slump, and sleep a lot. They prefer to gripe rather than grow, and they enjoy wine, W-H-I-N-E, with their candlelight. Now, who really wants to be like that? I saw that hand. No, you don't. In your heart of hearts, that does mean we have to. <laughs> you know ruts offer no future. At least not one with sparkle, celebration, and verve. Let's rid our lives of ruts, even if we have to excavate to find our way out. Have you ever observed excavators? The first thing they do is send out surveyors to assess. That's where the Holy Spirit and several of your wise friends, not other rut dwellers, can assist. 
the Holy Spirit can reveal to you why you are stuck, and the Spirit can empower you to change, although the Spirit won't usually do all the work without your involvement. Your friends can help strengthen your resolve and pray for you in the process. Solomon informs us of the value of team participation. Two are better than one. If one falls down into a rut, his friend can help him out. <clears throat> That's Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10. After the surveyors come with heavy equipment to break up the hard stuff, hmm, like our heads or perhaps our hearts, and I shall take the heart of stone out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them. That's Ezekiel 11, 19 and 20. To walk in his ways is our goal. God's ways rescue us from our rut-dwelling ways. <clears throat> because ruts have limited walking space, rut-dwellers are more into sitting, remoting, and molding, M-O-L-I-N-D, I-N-G, um, rather than moving. <clears throat> Whereas when we walk in God's ways, they are challenging, enlightening, and adventuresome. My mom is 81, and she's proud of it. In the past few years of her life, she has become a walker. Every day she heads out for a hike. Sometimes it's just laps around her circular driveway, but she keeps those size four feet a moving. Mom, mom is determined no mold will grow in her socks. Recently, she went to a podiatrist and the doctor was impressed with how healthy her feet are. I'm sure a portion of her fancy footwork is due to all the walking she does. Now just imagine what might happen if we were to step out of our old routine and deliberately walk in God's ways. Why, we might even do a little break dancing on our way up and out of that hard place. Come on, fellow rut dwellers, boogie on out of there. Risk life. Let us pray. <clears throat> Dear Jesus, you lead, I want to follow. And we give you thanks through Jesus Christ, your dear son that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. <clears throat> well, happy snow day. St. Andrews is closed today because the schools are closed, LPS, Union, UNL, Westland, you name it. Nobody's going to school today. There's too much snow on the ground. The city is more or less shut down. So stay home. Be warm. Snuggle with your furry friend if you have one um, or your feathered friend. I know we've got some bird people out there. So I don't know if birds like to snuggle, but enjoy your bird. Enjoy your cat or your dog or whatever you've got. Um, Lucy is thoroughly enjoying me being home and having all this warm lap available. Um, she was rather put out when I pushed her down because I had to come in here. Nevertheless, whatever you do today, I hope you have a great day. Look for the joy, wash your hands and wear your mask, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>